Kareem is um, 18 and he has a learning disability, he's got complex uh, medical health needs and he's autistic. But he is a cheeky, cheeky bunny and he loves kind of watching cars, uh, watching the trains, we go to the railway station and he loves, he's a typical teenager, he loves his iPad and it is really important that reasonable adjustments are made for Kareem so that he can access the appointments like anyone else because he has really high anxiety um, and can get very stressed, really hyper. The things that would be normal for us, whether it's an injection or a procedure, just even just looking at his teeth for example, um, can completely throw him and actually it doesn't work. So the important thing really is to speak to the carer, speak to the person that knows the individual um, and ask and find out what adjustments would help them. For example, if on the appointment letter it states um, who to contact if you need a reasonable adjustment or you need some extra help, then it means myself as a carer, I can contact that person and have that really quick conversation really just to explain, oh, actually he's scared of needles or because he's autistic, he needs this. Um, and actually when we've done that, it's worked really well and the appointments have gone really smoothly. It's really important for all staff members to understand what a reasonable adjustment is and make sure that they make changes to the way that they practice so that we can reduce the impact of somebody's disability on their ability to uh, access care. Sometimes a reasonable adjustment is really simple, like a double length appointment, and sometimes it's much more complex, like um, organising a procedure for someone to have a general anaesthetic and involving multiple departments so that they could also have their ears checked and um, their teeth cleaned and maybe have their toenails clipped or have bloods taken. It's really important for staff to read a patient's hospital passport. It's a really crucial source of information and it will tell you how the patient can communicate, the best way for you to communicate with them. Reasonable adjustments are just those simple things that you often do without thinking, such as arranging a larger room for a person in a wheelchair or supporting communication with a person with a learning disability by using pictures. Reasonable adjustments are removing those barriers that prevent a disabled person from accessing your service. Often, reasonable adjustments are simple and easy to make, and once you know that person really well, you can ensure that the needs of that person are taken into consideration in the appointment time. Preparation is key to ensuring a successful appointment and equitable access for a person with a learning disability. Often the local community team or parents and carers who know the person well will be able to support you with the information required in order to achieve a successful appointment. Having a robust do not attend a policy in place which links you in with a community learning disability team to support following up the individual if they did not attend the appointment is really important to help reduce health inequalities and ensure that people receive the right care and treatment in a timely fashion. Thank you.